Hello YouTube, this is Joseph here with a really quick tutorial on Photoshop CC 2015's uh, one of the new features here. We have, uh, let's see, under the spot healing brush and the healing brush, one of the new tools here is the content aware move tool. This tool's pretty awesome. Um, if you're not familiar with content aware, it allows you to quickly come into a, an image and get rid of an object. So say we want to get rid of this cow here, we can define a source spot here. And you'll notice in 2015 also while you're using the content aware tools, the effect is immediate. You don't have to wait until you lift up the mouse button um, for the effect to finish. It does it in real time, which it can really help out when you're trying to get rid of an object like I just did there with the cow. Um, let's see if we can clean that up a little. Eh, not that it matters. We're not going to be using that. Um, what we really want to do here is move this cow somewhere else on the screen. And that's where this tool, the Content Aware Move tool, comes in handy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this cow's butt right here. Pick the tool. And I'm going to quickly draw an outline. doesn't have to be perfect because, again, we're working with Content Aware, which will replace the pixels around that don't match if we paste it to a new area here go and there's a rough rough selection of our cow here I'm gonna zoom back out and let's say I want to move this cow oh let's say up here on this um, hillside over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the cow well, I'm gonna click back on the tool because I was in the zoom tool I'm gonna move the cow over here and but when I let go you'll see the transform box uh, appears and you can actually apply a transform here I'm gonna actually shrink down the cow I want it to look like it's in the distance so I'm going to shrink it down quite a bit and sit it right here so it perspectively looks like it's farther away. And when I hit the check mark up here at the top of the screen, you'll see it moves the cow with the content aware move over to here. Uh, this wasn't a very good image. This was some free stock photo that I got. Um, in fact, I don't even see the cow's head. Let's, let's, let's undo that real quick. I do these tutorials off the cuff, so this isn't something I tested with this particular image. Um, looks like we had the head selected there. I'm not sure what happened. I'm going to try this again. We're going to move it here. Transform it down a little bit. And apply. There we go. That was a little better. So as you can see, uh, besides a little bit of cleanup here, um, which we can pull out the healing brush tool, we will alt click a source here and start painting in our terrain here that got a little goofed up um, from moving the cow. There you go. Can't even tell that cow was there. So yeah, that's a. I know um, a lot of people are now familiar with Content Aware. I mean, it's been around now for a couple of years. Um, but this this new content aware move tool is awesome. You can also upscale. Um, let me try it with this cow here. Of course, anytime uh, you upscale an image, you do risk losing definition. So I wouldn't upscale too much. So we'll take this cow here. We're gonna move it over here. We're gonna apply a transform and make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, well, it didn't do too bad of a job. I I can tell it's blurry. Um, I found that when I've done moves like that and upscaled that I usually have to come back in with the spot healing brush and just quickly around the section hit it up a little. It gets rid of some of that blur. Oh. Yeah, it gets rid of some of the blur in the surrounding area. Um, makes it look a little more realistic, but of course you lose definition anytime you upsample like that. But yeah, it didn't look too bad. So there we go. That's a really quick tutorial on how to use a tool. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't do Photoshop tutorials very often, but now that we have a new version that came out a little while ago, um, everybody's updating their cloud version, I should have access to, uh, to make some more tutorials on some of the newer features. All right, have a good one. Um, like and subscribe if you liked the video, and leave a comment below if you have any questions.